Пацана раннего. Ромает, да? Угу. По телефону будет. Пацана раннего. Ромает, да? Угу. По телефону будет. Пацана раннего. Ромает, да? Угу. Пацана раннего. Ромает, да? Угу. По телефону. И вот на улице у нас накирова горит. Ой, блядь, что-то там стреляет. Ой, ой, надо взводить это. Why Russian bombs constantly fall on heads of Russians themselves? Ukrainian army revealed reason. Russian aviation regularly drops bombs on the heads of the Russians themselves. This is due to technical malfunctions and negligence of pilots or ground personnel. Ilya Yevlash, speaker of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, said on air of the telethon. This can happen for a number of reasons. Directly, there may be a human factor or a pilot's error or, for example, an error of the maintenance personnel who directly attached this bomb, Yevlash emphasized. He added that such cases also result from some defects and breakdowns directly in the aircraft itself due to wear and tear on the side, including this could happen directly during the approach to strike. When the plane accelerates and drops this flight module, it may at some point become detached, says the speaker. Yevlash noted that cases when Russian planes drop bombs on Russian territory occur quite regularly and are not isolated. The Russians themselves choose this path, and now these bombs are falling on their own heads, he stated. Recently, the media reported that a Russian plane dropped a bomb on a village in the Krasnodar region of the Russian Federation. As Astra writes, citing informed sources, after the fall, the bomb exploded. This happened in the Russian village of Vorontsovka. The Russians hush up such cases and call them unexpected derailment of ammunition from an aircraft. It is worth noting that there have previously been reports of Russian aircraft dropping aerial bombs on Russian territory. At the end of April, a Russian plane dropped another aerial bomb on the Belgorod region. According to media reports, these were 21 aerial bombs that suddenly fell on Russian populated areas recently or on occupied territories in March and April of this year. America is at risk of terrorist attacks due to uncontrolled migration, U.S. Army General. America is at risk of terrorist attacks due to uncontrolled migration. At least, this is the opinion expressed by retired U.S. Army Brigadier General Blaine Holt during an interview with Newsmax. Commenting on the protests attended by students at prestigious U.S. universities in support of Palestine, the American military officer called them just the tip of the iceberg. He accused current President Joe Biden of allowing uncontrolled migration. Because of this, as Holt put it, there will be terrorist attacks in America and numerous wars that are currently being fought far from the United States will move to its territory. It is worth noting that not only the aforementioned retired general is dissatisfied with the situation on the southern borders of the United States. After all, for a long time, the Republican majority in the lower house of the American Congress delayed the adoption of a law on assistance to Ukraine and Israel in return demanding that the Biden administration tighten immigration policy. The Biden administration is planning to announce a new regulation that is designed to allow immigration officials to deport migrants who are ineligible for U.S. asylum earlier in the process. Three sources familiar with the internal plans told CBS News. The regulation by the Department of Homeland Security would apply to migrants who ask for asylum after crossing the U.S.-Mexico border illegally, according to the sources who requested anonymity to talk about the rule before its formal announcement. It would instruct government asylum officers to apply certain barriers to asylum that are already part of U.S. law during so-called credible fear interviews. This is the first step in the years-long asylum process. Those who pass these interviews are allowed to seek asylum before an immigration judge, while those who fail them can be deported expeditiously. 
Migrants barred under US law from asylum include those who may pose a danger to public safety or national security. The rule would allow officials to reject and deport migrants in these categories soon after they cross the border. The regulation, which is relatively narrow in scope, is one of several actions the Biden administration has been considering to restrict access to the US asylum system amid a spike in applications in recent years, mostly driven by migrants crossing the southern border illegally.